Hey everybody, Chris Grust here. So I got a little bit of a serious video for you guys. Just had kind of a family incident that happened just yesterday. It kind of uh, posed a bit of a learning opportunity for uh, some of my family members. Um, so I, I, as many of you guys know, I have a couple daughters. Uh, they are adults. Um, they're they're in their twenties, and uh, my youngest daughter she had an experience in a parking lot of a mall. She uh, was driving through, and there was a, a family with three kids, and um, they uh, were kind of getting in the way, wandering all over the place. I'm not sh so sure if the the mother or whatnot had uh, sounded like she didn't have very good uh, control of her her children and um, so my daughter pulled into her parking lot parking spot and um, the the mother came to the window my daughter rolled down the window and uh, they had exchanged some words and um, the lady uh, punched her in the face so so a couple things can be learned from this. My daughter and I had some discussions. Um, uh, of course, she uh, she didn't respond back, um, which is probably a good thing. Uh, she is going to press charges, but uh, um, you know things can escalate out of control uh, anywhere. And I, I hate to say it, but sometimes um, it's best to not have any sort of confrontation. Uh, so uh, a couple things my daughter and I discussed, um, if somebody comes up your, to your window and, and you can tell they're distraught, don't roll down your window first thing. The discussion came up in regards to whether or not if my daughter had been a concealed carrier, uh, actually her boyfriend and her boyfriend's uh, sister were with them at the time, um, if any of them had been concealed carrying, you know, what would be the response? And of course, the correct response to that, um, I'm no lawyer uh, or no legal expert, but, you know, you don't respond with excessive force uh, unless it's warranted. So somebody, you know, if you get punched in the face, you know, that's not grounds necessarily to, to draw your weapon, okay? However, when you're in your vehicle, it's not a bad idea to have some uh, non-lethal methods of uh, self-defense. If somebody is, is entering your car or trying to get at you through your window or something like that, you know, my, my daughter couldn't just drive away. She was in a parking spot. You know, I recommend uh, have some sort of uh, pepper spray. All right, so I got some red saber here. You could even have some sort of a taser, which my daughter carries both of these things. And um, but I think she was so stunned from this lady just hauling off and hitting her right in the face. You know, made her nose bloody and everything. That she, um, you know, <laughs> I think she was just totally stunned from talking to her. You know, my first thing would have been not to roll down the window at all. Her uh, her boyfriend did. You know, he was quite distraught, but uh, good on him for not, not responding. And the lady's husband actually came and apologized. But, you know, the damage is already done. And, um, you know, there's no excuse for people to act like that. So, you know, I did encourage my daughter to uh, look, you know, you should file assault charges. The police were called. And uh, my understanding is she is going to follow through with that. Um, there's no there's no excuse for people to to act that way in in public and society uh, it, you know regardless maybe the lady was having a bad day or whatever the case is but the point of this video is that you never know when there's going to be a confrontation and it's always if possible if you can withdraw from the potential confrontation uh that is is always the best best option if possible but if not you should have uh some non-lethal ways to defend yourself and then also you should you know also be caring if, if you're if you're willing and able to because you know in today's day and age you just never know what's going to happen that lady could have came at my daughter through her window <clears throat> with a firearm with a knife with some sort of a blunt object you know there's no telling i mean lucky you know my daughter will be okay she was just hit in the face 
but you know you just never know what's going to happen and what people are going to do and how they're going to respond you know anyways just wanted to put this out i thought it was a worth a uh, while topic you know just be pre prepared watch your surroundings and uh if you can carry some some non-lethal uh defensive items on you you know, in case you get approached by somebody, uh, you know, just because you're a concealed carrier doesn't mean that that is the option. Um, that is always a very, very last resort. And um, even to show the weapon in this situation, um, if my daughter had been concealed carrying, I think she would have been at fault. She could have been prosecuted for brandishing a weapon or, or what have you. So, yeah. So, all right. Anyways, that's about it. You know, again, just uh, keep your head on a swivel and, you know, just watch out for uh, your surroundings and people around you. All right. Appreciate everybody watching, subscribing, you know, hit that like button and uh, that notification icon and uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. You know, I appreciate everybody watching, subscribing, and I will catch you all in the next video. Y'all take it easy.